it is Amy Milan and you are watching Life with Ames. Um, today I'm going to be tackling something that I have been tackling for the past six months to a year. Yes, it is potty training. Oh lordy. Okay, my son. Potty training him took about six months. I was pregnant. As soon as I got pregnant, actually, he decided, hey, let's use a toilet. It was easy, but not that easy. But it was easy enough. Now, I have this daughter. Excuse you. Oh my god. Girls are sassy. I don't know where she gets it from. But I have been potty training my two-year-old daughter. She's going to be three in April for the past year-ish or, year or so. I mean, she had the poo thing down. I got a PCS in the summer, and we traveled back to the States, and it kind of went away. So, you know, we were going to go. We had time to play kids. We had to So we were back to square one. Now we are starting to potty train again, and I'm going full force. I'm finally like settling into this, um, into this new place, and I am gonna get this done. Potty training in Japan has made me very appreciative, like super appreciative. But then again, there are a lot of cool things in the states that I don't know about because I've been overseas for the past ten plus years. So, um. If some of this is available in the States, please leave a comment below. I would love to know, and I can go on Amazon and take a look. But let me show you some of the things that Japan sells and does for those who are potty training. And goodness, 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 I love it. It is a savior. So let me start off with something that they do have in the States. I know it's kind of similar. Um, and it's the pull-up training diapers. So... I just I discovered like the first night I used this that they're not as thick as diapers so we put this on my daughter overnight and that was kind of a nightmare because I woke up at one in the morning and her bed was soaked in pee so this is pretty much like an underwear a disposable underwear she could pee once and that is it you know she can have an accident or whatever blah 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 blah, blah. but a cool thing about this is is that on the back this little thing right here, it's a sticker. So every time she uses a, the toilet, I just take off this little thing. And I used it once. She did pee in the toilet once, but after that, pfft. But I gave her the sticker, and it made her happy. And then another thing that's cool about um, this, and as all other Japanese diapers do have these, after the, they have used a diaper, you simply roll this up after it's been ripped off from the sides. So you roll this up, and this little thing here, it's tape, so you simply pull it and wrap it. Yes, so that is one option, and the fact that it's pink and it has Minnie Mouse on it, she loves it. But she's also wearing an American overnight training diaper, and it's like princess theme, so she loves those too. But I've noticed about those is that you can rip them off from the side, but you cannot wrap it shut. After she does her thing in the um, diaper, you kind of roll it up, it opens in the trash, and you smell pee. So I kind of like these better just for the fact that you can keep the diapers closed and it keeps the odor out a lot more. Okay, another thing, oops, I'm shaking. Another thing that Japan has, and I know for a fact that they don't have these because my parents told me that they don't, and um, I kind of use it with this as well, are these. And no, they are not maxi pads. They're like, I guess, potty training pads? I don't know what they're called exactly. It fits the like toddler underwear perfectly. But I lined this with it, you know, because we're still in the beginning stages of potty training. What I do is I turn this inside out. And you can do this with underwear as well. Um, you take this off just like a maxi pad. And then it goes from the top to the bottom. And it fits perfect. Oh, it's at the top, the bottom. And, you know, top, bottom, and a cat, you know, more absorption. And you can also put these in underwear as well. So when they are like in the middle stages or towards the last stages of potty training, 
you can just simply put this in the underwear and it will help, it will catch the pee. But the only thing is when they poops, that's a disaster. She, at the first day I did this, um, she pooped and yeah, that was hard. So it was all up in her underwear and it just kind of fell out of this. So this is towards the last part of potty training. It's just for like those little whoops accidents. But I um, actually use these when I was potty training my son and um, he's Mr. Clean, so he doesn't like being dirty. So the first time he pooped in these, he didn't like the feeling of that. And literally after that, he was done pooping in his underwear. So that helped. And I was hoping that my daughter would be the same way, but she's dirty. Um, yeah, she's that kid that licks walls. She'll eat chalk dust. She'll eat dust. She'll bite the same toy that her dog has been biting. She'll eat dog food. So it's a struggle. But I love her. So, um, yeah. So that's not working quite yet for her. But it does help. Um, lining this and she does like getting the sticker so this is helping a little bit and another thing that Japan offers and I'm not sure if they have this in the States I'm sure they'd probably do but I thought I'd show you anyway but it's these underwears these underwears I don't know about the plural past tense all that stuff but it, these came to in a pack and it was Sophia the princess she loves Sophia the princess and what they are is they're waterproof underwear so if you turn them inside out, you can see like the white part. But I could put this padding in here and um, it won't be so wet when she goes pee in it. I don't know, but it says it's waterproof. So it's got like three layers, I think, in here. Um, it doesn't have like that polyester rayon thing that kind of re reflects water. What is that called? That kind of repels water. But um, I haven't tried it yet. So when she gets better, or when I run out of these, I'm going to actually try this. Of course, on a day when we're going to be home all day. And um, I'm going to see how she does and if it really does leak through. So yeah, they have these. Um, they just simply put it on. I can put a pad in it or I can have her not wear a pad. I don't know how much is going to drip out of here. But um, they're supposed to be waterproof. So yes, they have these waterproof. And they only come with two in a pack. So I'm thinking like, okay, so if she pees in it, she'll have to put this on. And after that, it's like, what else? Those are some of the products that um, Japan offers for us for potty training kids. Now, I don't know if there's more. If there are more and you are currently in Japan, please leave a comment below. I would love to know what else there is. Um, that they, what else Japan has to offer for um, potty training, like what we can buy to help them pee. And then we obviously have like the little inserts in the toilet so that she can pee. They have plenty of those. Now, another thing that they do offer, and I think it's pretty awesome because, you know, you can only potty train at home. But here, Japan allows you to potty train whilst out. So, um, in the malls, they have things like this. Even inside skulls, they have little seats that you pick up and put in the toilet to help with potty training. How cool. The little seats, of course, if you need to pee, you can just sit there. Yes, they have little potty training seats for the toilets, like in the video that I've shown. Obviously, I kind of wouldn't want to use it without sanitizing it but it's such a great idea that they offer that like it just shows you how much Japan thinks about your family and your kids and it makes me love Japan even more so yes they do offer that another thing that they do which is kind of cool if you have a boy actually and I actually like it because sometimes when I'm by myself um, I still kind of feel you know nervous about having my son use the bathroom by himself but they have these Yes, they have little urinals in women's bathrooms so that your little boys can use the loo while you use the loo. And another thing that they offer here and that I super love, and I think it's it would help too um, for kids that are potty training because it kind of makes them feel like a grown-up, is this. So they have a kid room for toilets. Get your own urinal. 
sink, which is located in a little toilet. So cute. Yes, y'all, they have miniature bathrooms. <laughs> They have kitty bathrooms. It's freaking awesome. It makes them feel like a grown-up. Like, they have their own little space to do their little thing. They have, you know, the urinal, as you saw. And then they have, like, a little area where they do their business. Like, the pee or poo, whatever. And little sinks and everything. So, it's pretty cool. Like, it kind of would encourage them to use a bathroom. And I love that. I mean, like, using a public toilet is kind of intimidating for kids. But to have their own little bathroom, I think that'll be fun for them. And it's like... You know, I would think if they're little and they're out and about and they have to wee, it's like they'll think about that and be like, Mommy, I have to use the bathroom. And you know, it's like a little play area. Oh, not really. That's what I wanted to share. Just a little bit. You know, that's just something that I'm going through right now that I'm experiencing potty training. And I kind of wanted to share the experience and some of the cool things that Japan has to offer about it because, I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's the same in the States, but... If it is, let me know. But yes, um, that's it about potty training in Japan. Like I said, if you guys know of any more potty training items that Japan has to offer, please let me know. If any of these are in the States, like the little bathrooms and stuff like that, like I said, it has been a while since I've been to the States. Well, I went in the summer, but I haven't really been out to like much places, just the bars. But, um... Yeah, let me know if any of these are available in the States, and that would be freaking awesome in the comments. Alright, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the fun stuff that Japan has to offer. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more things about Japan, you know, like about living in Japan and some of the things that they offer, please leave a comment saying what you would love to see. Um... Or just like the video and subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos like these. I am a military wife living overseas in Japan. You want If you want to see what it's like to live like a military wife overseas and owning her own business, Ames Design and Sunsi, please subscribe and all that fun stuff. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace.